Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I, uh, a while back, and it's probably been two years, maybe something like that, I, uh, I got some, uh, some beer salts from, uh, uh, from Don Chilada. So these are right here are, are all Don Chilada beer salts, different flavors. Um, it's been a while since, since I had re originally reviewed them. Um, I figured, you know, I got lots of new subscribers. Maybe, maybe all you new new folks would be interested in seeing me review, do a revisit on these salts. Um, I I know not everybody uses beer salts. Um, <clears throat> I like I like to occasionally. I don't always, but uh, some of these may be good for Michelada rimming too. Uh, so. I'm gonna do two videos, separate, um, separate videos of, uh, of two different flavored beer salts, okay? So, I'm gonna kind of randomly, I'm gonna put them in here in this box, and I can just kind of randomly choose Try to mix them up a little bit. Let's see which one will be the first one. I'm going to use a nice cold Miller High Life. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to choose the first one. How about clam and tomato? That sounds like that would be good for, well, like a tomato, like a tomato type beverage, like a Michelada. That would be good in a Michelada, but I'm gonna try it with the beer. You know, you use beer in your, you use a, a beer in your Micheladas, so maybe if you just think of it that way, maybe it won't be so weird. Some of these I've had you know, for this long period of time that they've kind of gotten a little moisture on them. They're a little clumpy. So I brought me out a toothpick to kind of loosen it up a little bit. You do get a clammy a little clammy aroma and oh excuse me I triggered a yawn and a little tomato it smells like there might be a little lime in there too let's see what it says well Maybe a little garlic. Has kind of a, a little bit of a sweet smell, so there might be some tamarind in there. Okay, well, let's just see what it says. Sea salt, cane sugar, clam and tomato flavor. <coughs> corn syrup solids, onion powder, garlic powder, natural and artificial flavors, and white pepper, paprika, citric acid, chili powder, lime powder, okay, lemon powder, okay. I do get a little bit of an onion, and yeah, a little paprika. Very garlicky, lightly sulky, um, a little tomatoey, a little clammy. I 
should have brought out two of these little saucers. I didn't even think about it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can accomplish this without going back in the house to get another little saucer. I needed one for the salt and one for the, for the lime juice. Trying to organize all this in a hurry. <clears throat> Not very easy. So, <clears throat> let's, I'm gonna try to sprinkle the salt on there. So let's get this, let's get some lime juice in here. To remember to try this with a tomato beverage too but you guys see my hear my thoughts on if I think it goes good with tomato type michelada or just tomato juice in general <coughs> okay this is gonna be probably kind of difficult Not how I wanted to do it. But we'll get the same effect. So I'm getting a lot in my glass too. We'll leave it in there. I mean a lot of people shake it off in 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 the beer, in the glass, not just on the rim. So we're gonna go with that. This would be just enough to to be able to to get a good taste of it. <clears throat> Can you see it on there? It's a little cool out here in the shade. Excuse me. The champagne of beers. The saltiness goes good with it, but beer by itself and a clam taste and a tomato taste, for me, <clears throat> I don't really care for that. Nah, then it, those, those don't go together very well. I'm surprised it, it says add to your beer. <clears throat> Some people may like it like that. You get that white pep, that white pepper in there too. And it just, it just is not going over too well with me. If I would have put like squeezed off some lime more lime in there or something 
and added it and added it to my beer and that and that salt it may be better because then you're getting close to almost like a chalada type type thing but It's drinkable. I mean, just not what I'm used to. <clears throat> I should have showed you this up closer. I don't think I did, did I? Don Chilada, beer salt, beer salt, clam, and tomato. There you go. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, if you're interested in these salts, contact Don Chilada and uh, see see about ordering some. I got these free when uh, when they sent me some Don Chilada cups, all the different flavors they had um, a couple years ago or more. Um, <clears throat> so I still got them. I'm gonna keep the bottles because I like beer, you know, beer, beer salt. I like the. What am I trying to say? You guys are wondering the same thing. What's he trying to say? <laughs> the topic of beer salt and beer salt bottles. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. I thank y'all for watching, I appreciate it. See you on the next one.